A couple of days ago, I went and got to play the Super Mario Odyssey demo of the Sand Kingdom, and it was amazing. It was so much fun, and I wanted to share some of that fun with you guys. So I let you guys ask me any questions you guys had about the Sand Kingdom and what I got to play, how Mario controls, and all that stuff, and I will try and answer them for you guys in this video. So without any further ado, let's get right on into it. So the first question and the most popular one was, do you think there are too many moons? From the demos, it seems like they're kind of just lying around everywhere. And this was submitted by Red Kwan, and I really thought this was going to be a problem, but it wasn't. Maybe it was just because it was my first time playing Odyssey, but I finished each 10 minute play session with about two or three moons at the most. Now granted, I wasn't going out of my way to try and find moves, I was just messing around trying to progress, but from the demo and the treehouse playing, it looked like they were just lying around everywhere, but I think that those people who were playing it just knew a ton about the game, and so no, I don't think there are too many moons. Captain Goomba asks, I played the demo, but I never captured anyone. How does it feel going from Mario to a Bullet Bill? It feels exactly how like you think it would feel if that kind of makes sense So when I did it, I just threw my hat and then I was the bullet and you can just move around So I know that's not really a precise answer, but it just feels like jumping with Mario or moving It's so natural and it's really good your favorite moon so far my favorite moon so far was um, I don't know if you guys have seen any gameplay of this so I'll p put up a couple of pictures I took of it right now, but those um Moai things that have the sunglasses and look kind of like the Pokemon nose pass so I Was able to capture one of those and then went into this like maze thing where you had to memorize where the floor was and then go walk on the floor with Mario It was pretty fun Mar games 505 asks how big was the sand kingdom? Well, I don't have any specific measurements, but it was pretty big I obviously didn't get to explore the whole thing, but then again I've seen some speedruns of people like getting to the end and beating the boss within five minutes so I mean it really depends on your play style and how much you want to you know play the game all right Kieran O'Farrell says is there a Sol Galeo and if you're talking about the Pokemon no there is no Sol Galeo in the Sand Kingdom what are all the things you can turn into with the cap so there are a ton of things I think information has came out saying there's over 50 but what I did, I captured, hmm, what did I capture? I captured the nose pass looking thing, the Moai, and I captured a bullet bill, and I think that's it. I mean, there wasn't that much stuff to capture in the Sand Kingdom. Like, from all the stuff I've seen, the Sand Kingdom probably has the least amount of capturing. Guldo, or GU exclamation part D-O, I still don't know how to pronounce that name, says, you rather play this 40 hours straight without eating or watch all the Drake and Josh episodes with one sitting? I would probably rather play Mario Odyssey, honestly. Like, it's so fun. Is this, in your opinion, the best Mario game? Well, excluding the CDI games, because those are obviously the best. I mean, obviously, you can't just tell from a demo, but if the rest of the game is as good as the demo was, then I really think it has a shot of overtaking 64, which is, in my opinion, the best game. What, in your opinion, on the 2D sections and favorite music? So, I think he's just asking what my opinion of the 2D sections are. It was actually really fluid. I wasn't expecting to transition well between the two because 3D and 2D are such a big change, but it actually worked really well. And fave music, well, this wasn't in that Kingdom demo, but my favorite music in the whole thing is the Wooded Kingdom music. It's really good. Super Plush Master asks, what is with the ice in the world? I don't know. I think that's a greater story detail that I don't know about. And what DLC would you wish it gets? Uh... I would wish it has playable characters, but hopefully that is included in the game. Joshua Duncan says, do you need a special mechanic to capture or just throw? You literally just throw your hat and then it captures a ton of enemies. Oh, I also captured electricity. You can zip zop around the little town, Toasterina town with electricity. Just forgot about that. Mario Master Bros question is, my question is the ice cavern playable? Yes, but I didn't go there, but I've seen other people play it in the demo. And if you're trying to find it, it's literally just in one of those um, quicksand pits, like you just have to sink down all the way and then it's there. 
Will it be two players? Well, there is two player confirmed, and you could play two player in the demo where one person just controls Cappy and gets to dart around. And will there be a demo on the East Shop? Those last two questions were both asked by Pierce Chogue. And I don't think there will be a demo on the eShop, but I wish there was. Question, what controller will I play with? Well, I played with the two options they had, which was the Joy-Con grip and the separated Joy-Cons. And I'll probably use that just because motion controls help you get more precision with aim and cappy. Neck Yourself asks, do the motion controls feel nice or shouldn't you play with the Pro Controller? I've never played with the Pro Controller on Mario Odyssey, so I can't answer that one for sure, but I will probably use the motion controls. What were the physics of Mario? Was it more like 64, Sunshine, etc? Honestly, the physics were most like Mario 3D World. Brainless Brian also asks about the 2D parts. I loved it. The 2D parts, it integrated really well with the gameplay. Which Mario game do you feel was closest to this gameplay and control-wise? Probably gameplay-wise, 64. Uh, control-wise, 3D World. And that question was from Barrett Mayo. Super Mario Landon says, how was the boss or was there even Bowser there? Well, Bowser was there, but we did not fight him. We fought that Harriet, I think her name is. She's the boss that you have a fight with on top of the inverted pyramid. And that was a pretty fun battle. What's your favorite world, Thomas? Well, I've only played the Sand Kingdom, but I'm most excited to try out the Food Kingdom, New Donk City, and the Cascade Kingdom just because of that music. I mean, oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so SuperZack2005 asks, how do you choose whether to kill enemies or capture them with Cappy? And it, you don't get to choose. Like, some Goombas you can capture, some you can kill. They have, like, really small differences. Like, some Goombas are a bit more yellow, and those ones you cannot capture, but the normal-looking Goombas you can. And I don't think you can kill Bullet Bills with Cappy. I think you just have to capture them, but I'm not sure. GamingTube says, is Luigi playable? I'm not sure, but I hope so. You just want to know the controls, Golden Yoshi, well, there's a picture of all the controls, and they are, this, there were a ton of questions about the controls. The controls are by far the most complicated controls I've ever played in a Mario game, however, that's not saying much, and I feel like after, like, maybe 30 minutes with the game, they'll be pretty set and, like, standard in pretty much everyone's mind. They're not, like, bad, it's just you have more controls than normal because Mario has more moves and Cappy, so... Does the movement feel too fast, or is it like Galaxy says Puzzle? Um, it feels, once again, more like 3D World, and it I don't think it's too fast, but it's not too slow, and in my opinion, Galaxy was too slow, so. How long did you get with the demo, and were you just in the one world? Yes, I was just in the Sand Kingdom, and I had 30 minutes with the demo, except it reset every 10 minutes. What was my favorite part of the Sand Kingdom from Joy-Con Jamazing? Um, probably just being able to control Mario. He's really fun to control. Marcelo Guimarez, sorry if I butchered that name, asks, Is this the largest Mario level ever created? Well, I'm not sure about exact size, but it's way bigger than anything in Sunshine and 64 in my opinion. Do you think people could speedrun this like 64? Yes, and I am incredibly looking forward to it. How many moons did you collect during the time you were playing? Probably about like seven different moons. But I collected some of the same ones twice. Waffle Sands, is the gameplay anything like Sunshine? Yes, it is. Lachlan Thomason, can you teleport at the end of your recording? Because it looked like I was teleporting or insta-traveling. Yes, you can actually teleport when you, you can fly to a checkpoint flag, and that's pretty awesome. Hisashi Lonsky asks, was it high noon? Yes, it was quite high noon. What is the part about the story? So I think the reason Bowser is at the Sand Kingdom is to get a ring for his wedding, and he's going to all the kingdoms to get supplies for his wedding. I'm not sure if that was confirmed, but I just deducted that from talking to a couple of the Toast Arena citizens who were like, oh no, Bowser's going to steal our coveted ring. Did I go through the painting? No, I tried. I could not find the painting to New Donk City. Does the camera work like Zelda? Yes, but there was no motion controls. Can you feel the rumble? Yes, and in fact, there was actually a room that was solely rumble-based. And that's it. Guys, I just went through how many comments were there. There were 136 comments. Now, obviously, not all of those were questions, but a ton of them were, and I just answered them all. So sorry, once again, if that was a bit redundant. Parts of that were just me answering similar questions, because you guys had a lot of similar questions. But anyway, for any more Mario Odyssey content, keep it right here. We are going to be posting so much more towards the game's release. 
this game is shaping up to be one of the best Mario games of all time, if not the best, and a must-have for any Switch owner. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.